Saint Faustina Kowalska experienced hell. The terrifying message we must hear. How to avoid condemnation. Saint Faustina Kowalska, a Polish mystic renowned for her revelations and visions on divine mercy, offers us an intense account of hell. In her writings, especially in her famous diary, Divine Mercy in My Soul, Faustina describes a vision of hell that was shown to her, emphasizing the importance of God's mercy and the necessity of repentance. What does hell feel like according to Saint Faustina? Guided by an angel, Saint Faustina descended into the depths of hell and what she saw was terrifying. She describes various forms of suffering that the damned souls experience. The loss of God's presence. The greatest pain in hell is being eternally separated from God. Faustina highlights that the absence of his light and mercy creates an eternal void that no physical pain can compare to. Endless Remorse The souls in hell experience constant regret for their past choices, realizing too late the gravity of their rejection of God. Physical Torments Faustina describes visions of fire and darkness, where the pain is unimaginable and unrelenting. Each soul suffers in a way specific to the sins they committed during their lives. Eternal Hatred The souls hate one another and curse God. There is no hope, no peace, only eternal anguish. A prayer at the hour of death to avoid hell. Saint Faustina emphasizes the importance of divine mercy and trusting in God's love, especially at the moment of death. One of the most powerful prayers to recite at the hour of death, according to Christ's teachings to Saint Faustina, is Jesus, I trust in you. This short but powerful invocation summarizes everything God asks for, trust in his mercy. Even in the final moments, when the heart may be filled with anguish and fear, this prayer opens the way to divine mercy, ensuring forgiveness of sins and eternal salvation. The Power of the Our Father Another powerful prayer to recite at the moment of death is the Our Father. As the prayer Jesus himself taught us, it contains a plea for forgiveness of sins and deliverance from evil. Saint Faustina and other saints in the Catholic tradition have highlighted how this prayer serves as an anchor of salvation during the most difficult and decisive moments, such as the moment of death. In summary, to avoid ending up in hell, Saint Faustina advises trusting in God's mercy until the very end and reciting the Our Father and the invocation, Jesus, I trust in you. Let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you, who are merciful and good, who desire salvation for every soul. In you, O Lord, I place all my trust, into your hands I surrender, to your will I entrust myself. Pour out your grace, illuminate my steps, and protect my heart from all evil. Amen. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.